Wow, so many of you have heard and seen by now the zombie type dude that would kill, you know, ate someone, ate, he was eating cannibalism or he's eating another man and now they're blaming it on drugs or cocaine or LSD. And the question I'm taking a poll of, do you believe there's some type of spiritual force or entity that caused that man uh, that either was on him or in him to do what he did. I mean, I'm, I'm taking a poll here. If you believe demons are real, devils are real, angels are real, the spiritual world's real, God's real, heaven, hell, hit the like button and give me your comment. And that is the absolute truth, my friends. It probably was drugs that catapulted it. But the man his, it was not in his right mind in the first place. And, you know, Christ in the Bible faced many devils and demons or people that were demon-possessed. And before I get into this, I'm a minister of the gospel, friends. You can subscribe to my ministry channel. Hit the subscribe button right now. Also, many of the Christian preaching, teaching, ministry videos via YouTube. Just search Rob Wood 1, R-O-B-B Wood, the number one, where I do talk about Christianity, the Bible, heaven, hell, angels, demons, etc. But getting back to demon possession, man, there are many people under the sound of my voice that potentially even have and struggle with this spiritual force. And sometimes you feel compelled to do things that you don't want to do and you know you shouldn't be doing. What initiates that? What manifests that? You know, devils are real, demons are real, the spiritual world's real, angels are real, God's real, heaven's real, hell's real. If you don't agree with that, it's up to you, man. It's all good. But I've I've come across this in my own ministry. We've run exorcisms. We've cast devils off people, out of people. They do manifest. They They can be dangerous. It can be a little frightening at times. It can take time. I've seen it firsthand. There were people, witchcraft, the occult, white witchcraft, tarot cards, Ouija boards, uh, you know, horoscopes, you know, getting into things that are unhealthy, tapping into the spiritual realm that God forbids us to. Reality is if you're not covered in what the blood of Jesus Christ did on the cross, you're open to all different types of of, you know, a spiritual influence, which are potentially harmful and unhealthy. So they're out. You've got to have Christ in the center of your life. He comes by invitation only. One thing we can agree on, eternity is we're all going to die one day and we're going to slip into eternity. And you may say, well, how long is eternity? It's not a billion years. It's not a billion times a billion years. Friends, eternity is without end. And God doesn't want you to perish he loves you. In fact, in the book of John, third chapter, 16th verse says, For God so loved the world, that's me, that's you, that he gave his only son, Jesus, that if you would believe in Jesus, he, you wouldn't perish, you'd have everlasting life. So if you want everlasting life with God in heaven, you want to go up where the elevator goes up when you take your last breath. You don't want to go down to the basement where there's fire insurance. Say this simple prayer with me. Christ comes by invitation only. Say, Jesus... Thank you for dying on the cross of my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. Friends, if you prayed that prayer, it wasn't necessarily the prayer, it was the faith behind it. Again, God loves you. He's got a mighty plan for your life. If you believe there's a spiritual force that caused that man to do what he did, that was, you know, bit, yeah, eat another man's face, hit the like button, give me your comments. If you believe the spiritual world's real, Hit the like button, give me comments. If you want to subscribe to my ministry channel, hit the subscribe button or check out many other Christian preaching, teaching, ministry videos to search Rob would one be blessed, friends.